Hi friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. So I have something super exciting today because it's a brand new medium for me and I have never done anything quite like it before. And it's not every day you get to try a new medium, especially when you've been making art for as long as I have. And I've definitely never experimented with a brand new medium on camera, like my first time. So this is gonna be legitimate. Like I really don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully I get it right. Hopefully I don't screw it all up. Um, but drum roll please, if you read the title, you know that I am going to be working with gold leaf. And I actually wound up getting metal leaf because it is like way less expensive than real gold leaf. And as long as you seal it, it lasts just the same. And since I was just starting out for the first time, I was like, I better not buy the super expensive stuff. Maybe later on I will. Um, but anyways, so, of course, I get overly excited and I throw away the box. But anyways, I will leave the links down below if you decide to purchase some through my special Dick Blake links or anything else and you are going to be supporting this channel, so thank you. So basically, you get a little pamphlet. This is like the gold leaf uh, stuff itself and then you get these two little jars which is adhesive and then a sealant. And today, um, I'm going to be using this. Now this is a piece of the oil primed Belgian linen that I do all my paintings on. Um, actually I get that from Dick Blake too so I will leave that down below. Um, you can see it's just this linen but it comes oil primed which is really nice. So basically it's like as if this was an oil painting on this side and then this dark side I added uh, spray paint because I have been using some spray paint and stuff for some of the background so I want to make sure that you know it sticks to both of them plus how does it look like uh, how does it look once it's sealed you know what I mean like is there gonna be like a big splotch around it or is it gonna just be fine so anyways I'm gonna do my experiments on both of these because that's how I'm going to be using it um, you might want to do your own if you do like an acrylic primer or whatever but honestly I don't even have really acrylic prime anymore I don't think because I don't use it so uh, anyways that's how we're gonna do it today and I'm really excited. I hope you learned something with me. If you do, thumbs up and hitting that subscribe really goes a long way. You stay updated and my channel gets to be bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, anyways, I love you guys. Enjoy it. All right, let's get this glitter party started. So basically what you're gonna do is dip your brushes in the adhesive and you're gonna basically paint with the glue exactly where you want the gold to adhere. Now use whatever brush is appropriate for the surface that you're trying to do. You saw I used the flat brush for some larger areas and now I have this super tiny detail brush that I'm using to actually draw out some lines. This is what I'm going to use for detail work and I'm very curious as to how much detail is actually going to come out. As you can see I'm working on an area where I actually drew a little design with a pencil first simply because I wanted to see if the gold leaf would cover up any pencil marks for future reference. I thought it might be really fun to do this part together since this, like I said, is my very first time. We'll do this in real time. So it has now been about 30 minutes, just like maybe 32 minutes um, since I painted this. And the little booklet said it takes 20 to 40 minutes to make it tacky. And I felt it. It is definitely a little bit tacky. So fingers crossed that that's good. Now, every place I read is like you should wear gloves or do some fancy thing or use... Um, I heard that you could like use folds of wax paper and like put it down like that. I'm going to try using my hands, but I thought what I would do is I would put just a little tiny bit of talcum powder on there to kind of dry them out. Oh, if I open it, it will work better. So yeah, I tested this a second ago like off camera where I just kind of lightly dabbed it and tried touching the gold leaf and it seemed to kind of work. So I'm putting just a very light, light amount. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want it to blend in there. I'm just going to kind of rub it in and that way my fingers are just a little bit, they're just kind of dry, you know what I mean? They're not going to be, I feel like, quite as sticky, so 
we'll see how it goes. Who knows, I might screw this piece up. But for this, you're gonna want your gold leaf stuff as well as your brush. You want it to be kind of, this is a relatively soft but stiff, if that makes sense. So it's not like prickly at the end. So anyways, um, let's see how it goes. So this comes with like, it's like a piece of plastic on the top. Oh, see, I've been playing with it. Look at that. I've been playing with the booklet too much. That's not the gold lace fault. That's my fault. Um, and uh, it comes with little sheets in between. So what I'm going to kind of try to do is sort of maybe lay it down sort of with the page. Let's see. So they don't have to touch it too much. There we go. Right, and this is actually perfect because I kind of wanted to see what it would look like when it uh, meets an edge. So I'm going to use this little scrappy scrap right here. All right, up. Oh, I stuck it down and tried to pull it back up. I guess that's the thing is when you stick it down, it stays. It stays down. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of. Push that on there. I have a little bit still undone. So this is good, you know? I, I, I want to see, like, if I'm a little janky with it, will it still look okay? Let's see. We'll find out together. <laughs> I don't know where that rip sheet went. Up. Oh. <laughs> you may want gloves. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm having a good time now. It's not too bad. Okay. Alright. Here we go. And I mean, I'm kind of living with the realization that this is going to look, you know, handmade. I don't think it's going to look like inlaid gold or anything. Got the breeze going on here and everything. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to use this to kind of gently... Now this I'm doing very gently because I'll also use the brush to kind of pull the stuff up. Um, the, the excess, I should say, pull the excess gold leaf up, but for right now, I'm just using this to, like, smooth it. I definitely, if you're like me and a big dum-dum and want to, whatever, want to not use gloves, I would still recommend, um, uh, not touching this while you're trying to put it down because then it will stick. And I actually read in a little thing that if there are pieces, there's, I have this little piece that I'm missing, um, gold leaf that you can actually use the brush and just kind of rub it over it. It's something about rubbing over extra pieces. And apparently you can keep adhering and putting on and adhering and putting on. So if you miss a spot and later on you're like, oh no, I want to do it, you can do it again. You can do it more than once. Now the instructions didn't say anything about dry time after this, after applying this. So I might give it just like five minutes just to be sure so I'm not sitting here ripping off like, I don't know, it seems like it's coming off already, but I'm going to give it five minutes just to be doubly sure. Hey guys, always super psyched. I am. Alrighty, the big moment. You don't even know. I've been wanting to play with gold leaf for like ever and now is like, uh -oh. okay. Um, <clears throat> while I start to slowly and methodically brush away. Uh, I will tell you some fabulous news. I just discovered on our little five minute break, I just looked into it because as things were starting to chip away, I was like, oh God, am I just filling my studio and therefore the atmosphere with like micro toxin, whatever garbage. But no, gold leaf or metal leaf is literally just a metal. It is just like any other metal that comes right out of the ground. It's working or anything else like that um, it's totally safe non-toxic um, non-pollutant this is not like a um, like a uh, you know microplastic or anything like that so all these little bits and stuff although they might glitterify my space a bit they are not toxic and we are not doing anything harmful to the environment oh my god you guys like I can't even believe I'm holding such a straight face because it's working it's working <laughs> It's working in such detail. Oh, oh, you guys. You guys. Look at these. Look at. Look at. Look at. Uh, 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 look at how refined that is. That's 
beautiful. And right here, I mean, I'll give you a close in a second, but like right here, I had two pieces meat. You almost, almost, I mean, you really have to look for it to even tell. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You have just witnessed a brand new day in the nest in Kaylee Bird Art's world because look what I just did and look at how easy that was. Oh my god. I like, I'm about to cry. You don't even know how long I wanted to play with this stuff. Holy crap, holy. Yay. 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 Yay! Okay, so for this step, um, I went ahead and cleaned off my work surface really, really well. Um, that way, because we're going to do a sealant, so you don't want little metal pieces to get in your sealant and stick to it. And I also put on um, another board just to be extra sure that any little teeny tiny pieces I might not have gotten are not going to get um, on my sealant. And the sealing stuff is funny because it always looks like, like glue or white paint or something, and it's like, oh no, but then it dries clear. So. Um, I will just kind of put my sealant on. You'll see it. It's white on there. It kind of makes things look muddy and dull, but hopefully things are going to shine. Now, um, another thing that I learned, which is fantastic, is that you can use this gold leaf with your regular oil or acrylic sealant. So if you are doing this on a painting, you do not have to use this. Um, as long as you are going to be sealing your painting with your normal sealant. Now, the reason why you absolutely must seal this, um, either this way, like, because you can do all kinds of surfaces, so if you were to do it on like, you know, glass or paper or just, just, on, just as is, um, then you would need to seal it. But the reason being because this is not pure gold, it will tarnish. So you want to make sure to put one to two coats of sealant on it no matter what you do. I can't even believe how easy that was, you guys. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, that took almost no effort to get it right. I honestly thought that was going to be at least some kind of like janky hiccup or fold or weird thing or something because, I mean, you saw me. I'm not a perfectionist. I just kind of psh, psh, and it worked amazing, flawlessly, even in the little crevices where I had pieces meeting, you can't even tell. And now with the sealant on there dried, I mean, it is, psh, it's the greatest thing ever. So my head is totally swimming with ideas. I hope yours is too. Um, oh, one other thing. Don't you love how well it equally shows up on both the dark and the light? I mean, not many things really show up on both surfaces. So uh, I'm just like beside myself with excitement. Anyways, I'm so glad to have you guys here today. If you learned something, please thumbs up, subscribe. That goes a really long way. And um, use my pretty, pretty, pretty police link down below if you want to get some because it will go help support this channel, this metal leaf. I want to say it was like under 15 bucks or definitely under 20, I think, um, for all these sheets. So it's really, really inexpensive and it will bring your art to a whole new level. So, yep, use my link, help support this channel, make some gold, make some dreams happen. Yes, Mwah. I love you guys. See you later.